I can use my, my um, the, the fact that my toes are on the floor to change directions here, right? One, two. I can change my footwork, right? We can go foot to foot. We can take crescent step passes, right? We can go out to the side, back step. One of the things that I wanted to touch on was the idea of mobility, okay? And especially mobility in guard passing because we have really two schools of thought and schools of practice when it comes to guard passing. One way is where there's a lot of pressure, right? So we have a tight pressure-based pass, something like the, the over-under pass, double-under pass, which we've covered before, body lock passing, even sometimes knee cuts can be a pressure-based pass, right? The entry is often using a lot of mobility, but in the end, it's a lot of kind of pressure driving through, all right? And then on the other hand, we have mobility, looser mobility-based passes, and those would be something like um, the bullfight or Toriando, uh, long step passes. So those are require a little bit more mobility, all right? And so here's what we want to want to be thinking about when we're talking about mobility, all right? When I want to pass the guard using a using some kind of mobility it's basically impossible for me to move effectively when I have my shoelaces on the mat. Even if my weight's not on my heels here and my weight is here, it's still, I'm very slow to move. So whenever it comes to mobility, moving side to side, forwards and backwards, when you want to feel light on your feet, you always want to get up off of your shoelaces. Okay, so better than this is one step up the ladder, which is at least my toes on the floor here, right? Because now, if you go to push into me as I'm pushing, I can come up off of my toes, uh, sorry, off of my knees and use my toes to drive forward and change directions here. Okay, so at least I have my toes on the mat when my knees are on the floor. Okay, second best position or kind of one level up from that is one where I have one leg up and one knee down with my toes on the mat here. Because now I have a foot that's on the mat, I can use that to push off and stay in the squat position when I want to change sides, come forward or back. Okay. The best place to be, in my opinion, is with two feet on the floor, on the balls of your feet, so that you have total mobility. Now, you do give up a little bit of stability, because when I'm on my toes, if you give me a push backwards, sometimes I don't have the same stability that I do when I'm down here. My base is really strong. So for that reason, we see a lot of people who are in early stages of developing mobile guard passing favoring two knees down because at least they know they're not going to get knocked down. So when you come forward into me, you start to push me, at least I feel like I've got a stable base I can push back. When I get up to here, I feel like as you push back or I get resistance, I can often fall down and lose position. The challenge for you and for anyone else who's developing a mobility-based guard passing is to work to get to the toes. And even if your flexibility doesn't allow you to be in this kind of low, low squat, to at least be down here. Because from this position, as I go to start to set you down into like a supine type position here, I can use my, my um, the, the fact that my toes are on the floor to change directions here, right? One, two, I can change my footwork, right? We can go foot to foot, we can take crescent step passes, right? We can go out to the side, back step. And none of that's possible when we have our knees on the floor. So when you go back and you start doing your passing work, advancing. So when Ryu and I were working before, he was opting for a one knee up, one knee down method, which is a good hybrid. But what I want to encourage is at least rear foot toes on the floor. And if you can start to develop a place where you feel comfortable from here. And then out of here is where we start to get grips and work from a low position so that we don't have to worry too much about um, feeling like we're solid and not able to move at all. Just to recap quickly, when you're guard passing and you're focusing on mobility, rather than working from the knees, working from the toes, if you can't be on your toes, at least you have one knee down rather than both knee down, knees down. And from here, you can start to look to develop some more movement from that position, okay? All right. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. We'll